Welcome to the Chemistry, Biology and Math Revision Hub. Today we're doing the A-level Biology Practicals. This is called Practical 5. Use a light microscope to make observations and label drawings of suitable animal cells. In this core practical, we're going to look at calibration of a microscope. This is to find out how many hyposcrotical units equal a length of a stage micrometer. We're going to carry out staining of cells placing the stained sample on a microscope slide, observation under low power, this is to locate the cells, and then observation under high power to clearly visualize the structures, sometimes this is internal structures within a cell, and then because it's observation, we're gonna be able to draw both at low power and at high power. So to calibrate, we're gonna place the microscope slide on a stage, you can see this is gonna be the stage here, and this is gonna be the eyepiece, so we're going to place the microscope slide on the stage of the microscope. We're going to use the focusing knob to focus. We do this first under low power in order to locate the structures we're looking for. And again, in this case, our aim is to make sure we can match up the eyepiece reticule as well as the stage micrometer to find out how many subdivisions of one equal the other. So here, the smallest subdivisions of the micrometer scale are going to be 100 micrometer. So we're gonna find out by aligning these. You have to make sure that these big ones are aligned with some of these ones here. So we align the scales of the eyepiece reticule and the stage micrometer in the field of view. This is the field of view, the circular thing. That is your field of view. You will count how many subdivisions. These are gonna be the eyepiece units on the eyepiece reticule that are equivalent to a known length on the micrometer slide. And then we can work out the length of one eyepiece unit the example we have here, if 100 micrometer is equivalent to two EPUs or two eyepiece units, then it means one eyepiece unit is going to be 100 divided by two, which is 50 micrometer at that specific magnification. You repeat the last two steps at medium and at high power objectives for full calibration to be carried out. Now, like I said already, to observe the cells, we will observe at low power and at high power. However, we have to get the tissues containing the cells, find ways of staining them, and then place the materials onto a microscope slide and be able to visualize under low power and then at high power, then we can be able to draw. So here we have to use aseptic techniques. We need to wash our hands because sometimes contamination could occur and different cells end up on the microscope slide. In this case, if you're trying to observe your own cells like cells in your cheeks or cheek cells, you'll get a cotton swab and gently rub it in the inside of your cheek. And then you rub the cotton bird in a small circle in the center of the glass slide. After that, you're gonna place the cotton bud in a disinfectant solution because of course there are microorganisms that could be pathogenic. You will add a few drops of the staining agent like methylene blue to the sample and then place the cover slip. You will turn the objective lens to low power. Like again, we observe under low power first so that we can locate. So under low power and examine the stain slide under the microscope. You could locate and then carefully draw or sketch the cells that you observe. Then you could use the eyepiece reticule to measure the cell's diameter. This is similar to what we saw when we were calibrating. You will turn the objective to medium and focus until the cells are clear and distinct. Then you identify as many details as possible. You could also draw what you see. And finally, you can turn onto high power and focus using the fine focusing knob. Draw and label the details of the cells as accurately as you can. So you could also measure the length and the breadth of the two cells. Maybe there are two cells you're observing. Recall the measurements in your diagram. Place the glass slide in the beaker of disinfectant solution. So an example is what we see here. And actually sometimes you're supposed to label. So remember to use straight lines. The lines that are labeling should not cross each other. And you have to draw using HB pencil so that the drawings are clearly visualized. And you could also place the magnification around the image in order for somebody who is observing your image to be able to know how big or how much it has been magnified. So this brings us to the end of this core practical. Thank you for being with us. Do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.